hey yo guys, it's the infamous one, and that was a gay ass intro, ha <laughs> Anyway, so this is a uh, commentary life story kind of thing in Majiga, and if you're under the age of about 16, 15, or something around there, uh, I wouldn't really listen to this story, because it's um, not too fun to listen to if you're that young. Okay, anyways, so let's get on with this story worry. Ugh, why am I talking like a little kid? I'm so gay. Hey, right, whatever. Here we go. So, to begin this story, I'm going to close the door because it's echoing and it's annoying my ass off. So, give me a second. Okay, I closed my door because, yeah, it was echoing and it was really annoying, whatever. So, let's get on with the story. So, I go to this college thing, two nights, three days, something like that. And, uh, you know... First day, you're all chill, you're like, alright, I'm gonna meet someone cool, I'll just hang out with them for like the rest of the night. And then I'll like go find some girls after that, cause, yeah, definitely. Um, so, you go, you meet your roommate basically, cause like, whoever you hang out when you go to walk in, they're like, okay, you two are roommates, cool. So I met this wrestler, I'm like, yo, what's up? He's like, hey, what's up? I'm like, okay, let's be roommates. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, but I was just talking to him on the bus, and then we walked in together, and they were like, okay, you two roommates. Okay, cool. Go to your room, get it packed. Um, go set up your beds or whatever. Whatever you guys want to do. Um, be down in, like, an hour or two. I forgot how long it was. And then we're going to have some uh, fun games for you guys to play. I'm like, all right, whatever. It's not that bad. Um... Shouldn't be that bad at games. They, they know we're like 17, 18, somewhere around there, so it shouldn't be like, let's go play pin the tail on the donkey, guys. Let's go. Woo! No, that's that's not that's not what's gonna happen. It's gonna be that yo, I right, categories. Let's go. Chocolate, peanut butter, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. So that's kind of like just what we played. Whatever. Um. Learn some people's names, you know, Pink Shorts, Frankie, <laughs> those are not their names, <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, I don't know what the kid's name was, but I always called him Frankie, whatever, so, um, him, he, uh, he invited Pink Shorts and her friend to, uh, his room for a party, and he invited me and my roommate, and, uh, a couple other people, and, um, so I was like, alright, after the whatever games that we're doing, let's just go to your room, chillax, because it's already like 5 o'clock. I'm kind of like bored of standing outside right now. And uh, maybe after dinner. Maybe after dinner we'll go to your room, definitely. So it's after dinner, I'm going to, going to his room, and I get to his room, you know, two minutes before the party starts, because you know, I want it to be there, so I get a good seat. Yeah! There's only like two chairs in the whole room, and then there's beds. So, whatever. So, I want to sit in the chair. And, um, so I go sit down, and he's like, oh, yeah, someone just texted me. Uh, I'm going to 7-Eleven. Bye. <laughs> so, I'm like, all right. Uh, bye. And I start walking down the hallway to go to my room, like, uh, oh, my stomach. It's telling me it's hungry. You hungry, boy? Yeah, give me food. So I'm like, all right, 7-Eleven, here I come. I'm going to get food. Maybe they have hot dogs there. I don't know. They have hot dogs by me. Those are cool. They're expensive. They're like $4. So I don't really go there. But anyways, that's the only place to eat. So 7-Eleven, here I come. So I'm waiting on life for 7-Eleven. And then, and then there's this girl. And she's like, yo, Jersey. I'm like, uh, is, 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 is that me? I'm like kind of from New Jersey. I'm in a different state right now. So is that me? Is that me? Um, I right, let me go check. So I turn around and I'm like, "Hello," and she's like, "Well, you from New Jersey?" I'm like, "Yeah." She's like, "Oh, I was talking to Jersey right here. He's from New Jersey too." I'm like, "Oh my God, he's from New Jersey. Awesome." And so we just hang out for like, you know, the rest of the night. We go to Seven Eleven together. We, why am I talking like this? God. Oh. All right. I'm done. So, I, uh, hang out with, uh, her, Connecticut, Jersey, I want to say Massachusetts, my roommate, I think that's it, all five of us. So, we go to 7-Eleven, we're like, yo, I'm, uh, I'm gonna throw a party, guys, so, um, yeah, 
I'm throwing a party. <laughs> I just tell him that, you know, I'm like, yeah, let's go to my room, have a party, let me buy you a bag of chips, because I'm hungry, yeah, I'll probably eat that. Um, yeah, I could scoff down a bag of chips in, like, half hour or something like that, full, like, family-sized bag. Yeah, I'm a fat pig. I'm not really fat, but I'm a pig. Anyways, so... I'm not pink. I'm actually tan right now. It's pretty cool. Anyways, so we uh, we go back to my room. It was kind of boring, and then this random girl walks in. She's like, "Yo, guys, don't want to party." I'm like, yeah, it's kind of supposed to be one. Yo, you want to come to uh, the party over here? There's like already like seven people. We have ice cream and we have like cake and stuff. We're like, oh, ice cream. What room is that? Two, four, twenty-one. I, 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 I'm coming. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> so we all go. We go hardy wardy and the, into the party party, and we're like, "Yo, what's up?" And uh, they're like, "Yo, let's go move this party out of here because it's very like fourteen of us and it's like getting crowded. Let's move it out into the hallway. Let's go. It's roam hallways." So I do all that, I hang out with the peoples, whatever. I go to sleep, and the girl that said, "Yo, Jersey," is Texas. Remember that name, Texas. So, I go to sleep. I really didn't sleep that night. I slept like every half hour. I'd wake up and wake up for a half hour with stomach ache and then go back to sleep for a half hour. So, I was fucked up. Okay. So, that was pretty bad the next morning. But I woke up at 3 in the morning and I was like, I, I'm going to sleep. I'm not waking up. So I wake up at 6.30, but during that three-hour nap, I had a nice dream. Texas was in my room. I was like, yo, Texas, you want to go on my bed a little bit? And she's like, yeah, let's do it. And um, I I, I can't text and do a commentary at the same time, so I'm going to have to leave that person alone for a while. So Texas is like, all right. And I'm like, yo, Texas, want to fuck? (laughs) <laughs> and she's like, yeah, sure, and then, like, you know, whatever, we we'll do it, whatever, do it, do it, and then, um, that was in my dream, that was in my dream, so the next day, we're just hanging out, go to class, whatever, uh, I don't have her number yet, <laughs> it's kind of annoying me that I don't have her number, so I'm gonna, like, ask her for her number, but before I can ask her for her number, she's like, yo, you want my number, I'm like, <gasps> yeah, sure, why not? And so she gives me her, I give her my number, she texts me, and I'm like, alright, I got your number, all good. So, after class, that's all good. Then we go to, um, these, uh, uh, this party thing that the people that we, uh, would, that invited us there, like, set up, or whatever, and, um, we, uh, oh yeah, I completely forgot, I'm sorry guys, I met another girl <laughs> on the bus, so I was like hanging out with her at the party, and um, I guess Texas was like, hey, whatever, and I was like, hey, I'm just gonna hang out with this girl, she's kinda hot too, so Texas and this girl, good, alright, so two girls, two nights, all good, um, so then I get back to my room eventually at like midnight, and uh, the girl goes to her room. She's like, I'm going to go do something. I'll be back. And I'm just, like, walking in the hallway because, like, I was going with my friends to go get uh, the boombox. I mean, not boombox, speakers from another kid. And uh, I couldn't find his room, so I kind of gave up and head back to my room. And uh, when I get back, Texas is laying on my bed just like in my dream. And I'm like, uh, oh, Wait, my dream is telling me something. I should probably ask her. So, I go, I lay down next to her, whatever. I'm just chilling. I'm pretty ex- exhausted, so I'm kind of like trying to stay awake, try and sleep, sort of. And um, so someone asked Texas, yo, my, my, my roommate's a pothead. Can I go sleep in your room? Because I don't like the smell of pot. And, uh... So, Texas is like, yeah, sure, why not? And I'm sorry this is such a long video, but it's a good story, guys. You'll like the ending. Actually, I hate the ending, but you'll like the ending. So, she's like, all right, whatever. And I'm like, yo, Texas. And she's like, yeah? And I'm like, um, can I go sleep in your bed? And she's like, if your bed breaks, sure. So, I, I do the most funny thing ever. I, I was like, 
I kind of wanted to do something. So I was like, I right, how should I break my bed? So I start humping it. I'm like, it's, 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 it's. and then Tux is like, no, stop it, because she's still on the bed. So she's so she's going up and down with me, and um, so whatever. I um I do that to my bed and it doesn't break so I'm like ah damn it and then like 15 minutes later she had to leave because it was curfew whatever so she had to go to her room and go to sleep whatever she texted me for like an hour and then she fell asleep and I was like you awake question mark and then like an hour later I'm like fell asleep <laughs> whatever so the next morning uh whatever we go to breakfast after like an hour after we leave oh yeah i got the other girl's number like five minutes before curfew whatever um that'll be another story the other girl so yeah so texas um an hour after i left she was like yo you like me i'm like idk why and she's like Cause I likes you. I'm like, oh, damn it! Why did I not ask her last night? <laughs> so I uh, the next day, I tell her about my dream and I say, would you have done it? And she's like, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. And I'm like, oh shit! I should have said something. I'm so stupid. So long story short, listen to your dreams and um, yeah. So guys, hope you have a nice day, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, hope you like the story, alright, bye.